Started in this one Leading under the lights. Cleveland, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. First pitch of the A.B. now. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Seven o'clock. Started the breaking ball far too inside. that time laid off for ball one the offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up this guy is known on the mound for sinker change up combination he's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently you have to find something above the belt to get loose on now it'll be Jose Ramirez as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, this is his power side, Matt. He definitely quite a bit more pop in his bat swinging left-handed. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One out, nobody on. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And there are two away now. Striding in for the Indians, Eddie Rosario. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Sinker and this one's over as well nothing in two now hey this is an amazing inning right here attacking the zone keeping his defense invested chance to get off the field super quick just getting started at the Rogers Center ground ball sent back up the middle over to first and that retires the side Stepping in, Marcus Semyon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom we half of the first. For the game. The shortstop, Marcus Semyon. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. The beauty of that sequence right there, the fastball in, now to change up away, is where do you go as a hitter? Do you cover away? Do you cover the heater in? You can't do both. You have to pick a side of the plate and hope that's where he goes. And he checks swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Batting second. Next to bat for baseman. Toronto, Vladimir Water Guerrero here. Jr. First pitch of the A.B. Yeah. on its way. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. If you can command that with movement, it's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Change up low, 2-0. and oh. Bases are empty, one man out. when Yank just foul. Change up taken for ball three well below the zone. George Springer waits on deck. Oh, he likely had ball four that time but couldn't hold back on the swing so that moves the count to three and two now. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. And here's the three two from him. Pulled high in the air out to left field. On the move is Rosario. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now to the plate, here is George Springer looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. 
bring her. Fouled away. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Count now a ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Two and two now with two gone here in the home half of the first. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Zimmer retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side. And that'll bring in Fran Reyes. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. The wind up and the 0 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Hit back up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. That is it. The first baseman. To the plate now, Bobby Bradley. Bobby. Ball one. Bradley. Reyes on at first. Nobody out. Called strike at the knees, one and one. A ball and two strikes. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Next to stand in is Josh Naylor. First gone. swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. As he'll take a look at ball one. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. No score here as we play inning number two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Pulled toward right center field. Springer giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And up next, the San Diego area native Bradley Zimmer. Bradley. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Two out with the man at first. Springer on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. to go for the last half of the inning and Leading that'll bring up Rowdy Toronto, Tellez. The first baseman. Number 11. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Oh, left out. Now the 1-0. -oh.
swing and a screamer but this one's not going to stay fair. Fouled off. Again a one two. Well I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it trying to get him to swing through it but it just ended up taking off on him. Just hung in there on that one. Here's the pitch on two and two. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed. This one is crushed. Back, 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 and gone. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. No left fielder. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another 0-2 home. Fouled away. No outs, nobody on. Ball one. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of Batting the inning. Six. The designated hitter. Here's the pitch. Story. Dickerson. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Popped up. Bradley is under it, two gone. So now here is Lourdes Guriel to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And he popped him up. Bradley in foul ground. But this will land untouched. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Two out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final. Andres Jimenez, the next to bat. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Andres. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language. And oh, it comes up on him there as it kicks off the glove. Got 
batting up. The catcher, number 55. At the plate now, Roberto Perez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Jimenez gets his lead at first, nobody out. And this one misses to the Cleveland backstop. It's even at a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. And that's through for a hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now that second baseman, Cesar Fernandez. So now to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. That's wide, 2 0. Oh. Has to be a challenge pitch. Coming up here, he probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now the 2 0. Oh. And the slider bounces, and that'll get on by. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The 3 0 pitch finds the zone, strike one. 3 and 1 with 2 on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. On the run is Hernandez. Now the three and two pitch. Long run for the right fielder. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And to score from third, the tying run. Next to dig in, Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. The 0 and 1 delivery. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And it's gone. Stepping in now, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So now into the box is Fran Reyes. Here's the first pitch to him. Now the 1 0. He is swung on and missed, strike one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And it's one and two. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Bottom of the third now. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Rendell Gritchick. The right fielder. First pitch coming. Rendell. Here it is. Gritchick. A little bouncer. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Here comes the one two. Inside. 
Right. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. A full count, three and two to Randall Gritchick. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at bats, you start to get into swing mode. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and a liner. Rosario has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. Now to the plate, Chris McGuire. The catcher. Number seven. Here's the first pitch. Outside, that's ball. Third inning here. Three to one, our score. Aye. A ball and a strike. Drilled to the right side. This will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Now battle. And now it appears the outfield will shift and assume a more straight up alignment. At the plate, Marcus Semyon, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Struck out in his first at-bat. Now this is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get to. Hernandez at second, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So a runner at first with two away, and that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a check swing, appeal to first, and umpire Matthew Ross says he went around for strike one. Simeon is off of first with two away. Down and away, ball one. Mm, tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the corner a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Fouled away. Did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. All set for the start of the fourth, and here comes the first baseman, Bobby Bradley. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. Owen won the count. Now here's the pitch.
Springer has a read on it. One out. Now with the plate the is Josh Naylor. Right he flew out in his Josh last A.B. Naylor. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. That evens it up one and one. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. Into the windup and the pitch. Guerrero is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. And the that'll bring in the San Diego team. product Bradley, Bradley Zimmer. Flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Runner at first with now two that gone. Way. And that'll the bring Andres Jimenez Andres in the bat. Jimenez. Ryan Barucki answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. He's set. Here it comes. Too low. One and zero. Zimmer makes a break from first. Springer coming on. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. George Springer, the next to hit. Leading off for the J, the center fielder. Joel. Nick Whitgren, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. First pitch on its way. Away. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. High in the air out to center field. Zimmer is right there, one down. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. Here's the first pitch. Hit well towards the hole. Scooped up. Throw in time at first for route number two. Stepping up is Oscar Hernandez. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Hernandez. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. 
One run, two hits, one error thus far for Toronto. And this one's inside and high. One and two now. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. So now to the plate, Roberto Perez. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. The catcher, number 55. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And there's ball one. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now back to the now top back. of the lineup, stepping in, base. Cesar Hernandez. Cesar. Notched an RBI Hernandez. on the sack fly in his previous turn at the plate. Lays off 1 and 0. Oh. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at 1. The 1 1. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Three runs, four hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. And another foul ball. Hard sinker misses two and two. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Digging in next, Jose Ramirez comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. One ball, no strikes the count. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. and oh. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Three and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And this is nowhere close and it's a four pitch walk. Well, Stepping in next eight. Eddie Rosario Eddie. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready to deal here comes the first pitch. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Reined in. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Now is the designated hitter. Corey Dickerson comes Four into this at bat 0 for 1 the in the ballgame. Corey Dickerson. The set and the pitch. And he popped him up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And he looks at one in there, one and two. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. He'll try again, one, two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now one down with the bases the empty, and that the brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Gurriel. First pitch of the A-B now. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. 
That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heated. One ball, one strike to count. The 1-1 one, one home. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The right field, number 15, Randall. Here's Randall Gritchick. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Check swing, appeal to first, and umpire Matthew Ross says he went around for strike one. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Next, here is Reese McGuire, singled in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Giving chase is Zimmer. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Now in the box, Fran Moreyes. He went down on strikes last time up. Pitch on the way. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. So the next to bat will be Bobby Bradley flew out last Bobby. time up. Almost Matty almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Lays off the sinker here a ball and a strike. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Under this one is Gritchick, and there are two away now. Now that brings up Josh Naylor. No hits to this point. Here's the pitch. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Hit back toward the mound. Simeon's got it. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now and stepping in the Leading long off. ball well, threat. Good. Marcus Simeon. Brian side. Shaw Marcus. enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the Simeon. sixth. Your attention please. Now pitching for number 27. Brian. First pitch on its way. Here comes the 1 0. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. And in a two run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. 
you've got to keep that tying run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. Uh, he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. And now it appears the outfield will shift and assume a more straight up alignment. First delivery to him. On the ground is short. This could be two. Hernandez at second. On to first, and they get them both. Striding in is George Springer. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Springer. Here's the first pitch. Lined into left center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Number one level. Into the box, Rowdy Tellers. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hits are now even at four apiece. Popped him up. Bradley has room in foul territory. And that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway. And at the plate will be the speedy Being outfielder, the Bradley Zimmer. The center fielder, number four, Bradley Zimmer. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. The 0 and 1 delivery. Good hard sinker that time, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting a front foot down. No one's getting a barrel to the baseball. Now batter, the shortstop, Andres Jimenez. Standing in now, Andres Jimenez. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Digging in will be Roberto Perez. One for two on his line so far in the game. Jordan Romano comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Number 68. Here's the first pitch as he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Fastball called for strike two. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. The tag at third and they got him a Ladies double and play. And very quickly here, the side is retired. Oscar Hernandez digging in now. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The left fielder. Stay Oscar. Hernandez. From the stretch. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can now to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. So he sets him down swinging. Oscar Hernandez is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Corey Dickerson is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1.
Now a ball lifted in the air to shallow center field. Jimenez has a play. Two gone. Next to Come hit back. is Lourdes Guriel. He's Second one for two base. in this one. Lourdes Guriel. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A ball and no strikes. The 1 0. Grounded. Oh, it's off the third base bag. And they're going to get it out on the play, and that'll be a bizarre ending to the inning, to say the least. Digging in, the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Cesar Hernandez. Now the first pitch. Here's a slider that's inside 1 and 0. And a fastball in there for a strike 1 and 1. Hey that's a heck of a pitch right there. If, he, if he's able to execute with that type of velocity fastballs up and in I can't imagine not only he's going to break a ton of bats today but he's going to open up that down and away with the soft stuff later in the game. The one two. He's got it. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. So here is Jose Ramirez. It was a walk in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Springer. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. In now for Cleveland, Eddie Rosario grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. Rosario behind with an 0 and 2 count. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. But this guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Randall Grichik at the plate now. It's been an Leading 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The right field. Randall. Grichik. He's set. Here it comes. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. And now here is Reese McGuire. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a line drive. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. And he'll settle for a single here as they whip it back in quickly. Emmanuel Passe answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Number 48, Emmanuel Passe. To the plate now, Marcus Semyon, as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And it's fouled away. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. 
They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. Working for the punch out and the offering to two balls and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Your Danny Jansen will come on now He's and pinch run here. Number nine. And before the big 3 2 pitch, time is called at home plate. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. 3 to 1 our score. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Hernandez ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. Next up, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Now that it. And now it appears the outfield will shift and assume a more straight up alignment. Here's George Springer. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he misses with it one and one. Well, the Blue Jays have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. They're hoping they get it right now. This would sure be a good time. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back goes Rosario. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fran Moraes. Leading off the cleaver, the designated hitter, Juan Reyes. First delivery to him. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. All over the place to start the ninth. It's 3 and 0 oh now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. The first base ready now is Bobby Bradley. Bobby Bradley. Jake Deekman takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 35, Jake Deekman. He's set and the pitch. Reyes aboard here at first with nobody out. That's wide 2-0. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, 
but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Two and one to the Indians first baseman. The two one home is in there for strike number two. Nobody out runner on first. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And gone up into the second deck. So now to the plate, Josh Naylor, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0 and 2 now. After that off balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0 2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now in the box, Bradley Zimmer is working on a one for three thus far. Swing and he pops him up. Guerrero into foul territory. And that's going to land foul. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. You know what, Matty? I think it's so tough for a lefty to stay tucked on that slider, to keep his front shoulder in and be able to recognize it and not get beat with the fastball. Grounded back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ballgame. Nate Pearson enters the game with one gun in the top of inning number nine. Now pitching for the Blue Jays. Number 24. Nate Pearson. Into the box now. Andres Jimenez pulled toward right center field. Springer has a read on it. Two down. Next, it'll be Roberto Perez. He was a double play victim last time around. First pitch on its way. Pearson is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Tellers, and they could use a spark from him here. The first baseman, number 11. And now a pitch on the way. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Waiting on it is Zimmer. One out. Stepping in once again is Oscar Hernandez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Count even now at one and one. Ball and two strikes now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. The batter. The designated next will be the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. One ball, no strikes, the count. 